Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the first book of Samuel, otherwise called the first book of the Kings, chapter 5. And the Philistines took the Ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. When the Philistines took the Ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon, and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashdod arose early on the morrow, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth before the Ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. And when they arose early on the morrow, morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord. And the head of Dagon and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore neither the priests of Dagon nor any that come into, the, into Dagon's house tread on the threshold of Dagon in Ashdod unto this day. But the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them, and smote them with emeralds, even Ashdod and the coast thereof. And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, the ark of the, excuse me, they said, The ark of the God of Israel shall not abide with us, for his hand is sore upon us, and upon Dagon our God. They sent therefore and gathered all the lords of the Philistines unto them and said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of the Lord, of the ark of the God of Israel? And they answered, Let the ark of the God of Israel be carried unto Gath. And they carried the ark of the God of Israel about thither. And it was so that after they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction, and he smote the men of the city, both small and great, and they had emeralds in their secret parts. Therefore they sent the ark of God to Ekron, and it came to pass, as the ark of God came to Ekron, that the Ekronites cried out, saying, They have brought about the ark of the God uh, of Israel to us, to slay us and our people. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines, and said, Send away the ark of the God of Israel. Let it go again to his own place, that it slay us not, and our people. For there was a deadly destruction throughout the city, and the hand of God, excuse me, the hand of God was very heavy there. And the men that died were not smitten with the emeralds, and the cry of the city went up to heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I want to go ahead and do a little bit of research here on one of these passages before I super cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay. And so what is amazing, of course, about this chapter is that wherever the Ark of the, the Lord is, the other gods, that you know, in this case, Dagon, Dagon crumbles. In fact, his hands are, both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him, showing the power of God via what is happening when the Philistines try and place the Ark of the Lord in a house of Dagon, in a house of idol worship. And when... Wow. Well, <laughs> and of course, after they carry the Ark of the Lord to Gath, it says in 1 Samuel 4, 9, And it was so that after they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction. 
and he smote the men of the city, both small and great, and they had emrods in their... What the heck? Oh my god, what? On second. The exact passage says, and they had emrods in their secret parts. So I just need to understand exactly what's happening here, because this is, is uh, you know, not... Not gonna make the most sense. Let's see here. In five... Oh, wow. It means tumors. Oh my god. It specifically means hemorrhoids. <laughs> oh my god. So, for those who don't know, hemorrhoid means blood in the stool. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Hemorrhoid means blood in the stool. Jesus Christ, man, you can't make this stuff up. Read this again. And it was so after that, after he, they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction. And he smote the men of the city, both small and great, and they had hemorrhoids. <laughs> they got hemorrhoids. The Lord gave them hemorrhoids. This is so awesome. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so it's not funny, but I'm laughing because when I was um, 24, I don't remember how old I was. It was um, yeah, it was right after, um, as it's written in the Gospel going to Lord Darren White, uh, chapter 13, 14, thir 13. When I went, when I 13, 14, when I turned um, 24 and a half, I vowed to do the right thing at the right time, which is to work with sincerity and focus. And my father helps me move in to an apartment at near the Westchester University. I'm studying my master's degree. I'm that uh, you know, for, well, I, I'm currently enrolled to study my master's degree. Currently on leave of absence as I'm working, and um, I uh, I actually was like such a pain in the backside. I was like, and this is not like, this is not this is me trying to explain it retroactively. When I was moving in, my father <laughs> helped me tremendously. He was always been an amazing man in terms of he led by his actions, and I had the utmost respect for my father. Um, you know, of course, as a spirit of God, I have, like, you know, my father who raised me, he, he did an amazing job. And I just was not like, I was just very impatient with him when we were moving in. And, um, like maybe like a, like a week or two or two, three weeks later, I suddenly got blood when I would, uh, uh, use the, uh, restroom. And it wasn't bad. And I would, it was just with the mildest version of hemorrhoids you can get. Um, but yeah. Um, that, so that's my experience with hemorrhoids there. And um, I went to the doctor and the doctor said, you have hemorrhoids. And they gave me a, whatever, they gave me like an ointment or whatever, so the problem was taken care of. But uh, yeah, that's why I was laughing so hard here because it's not like, if you've never got hemorrhoids, like I, I, if I'd never had hemorrhoids, I probably wouldn't have laughed. But for me, it was super funny because I, like, I don't think he gave them like the mild version either. <laughs> so it says here in 1 Samuel 5 9 and it was so that after they had carried it about the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction and he smote the men of the city both small and great and they had hemorrhoids and the Lord gave them hemorrhoids that's that is the interpretation how amazing is that man and uh, after that um, Wow, and of course, of course, check this out. So of course I recovered, uh, John 14, 16, thank God. It, it really wasn't bad. Like, um, I, it, it, thank God, it, it was a very, very, and I'm not saying that um, for any reason. I'm just saying it to be honest as the spirit of truth. And of course, um, I did recover, John 14, 16. And it says here in 1 Samuel 5, 12, and the men that died not were killed by the hemorrhoids. And the cry of the city went up to heaven. I'm not kidding. They died of hemorrhoids. <laughs> oh my God. That is the Lord. He killed them with hemorrhoids. Uh, I need to make sure. I'm just going to double check the translation. Yep. Absolutely. 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 The Lord got them with hemorrhoids. Unbelievable.
Most of the other translations say tumors, emeralds. So I, I, let me Google what emeralds are specifically. Hemorrhoids. Yeah, he got him. He got. He killed, and and the men that died not. One second. What is just to get the exact translation? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and the men that died not were smitten with the emeroids. Wow. And so with that, I'll go ahead now and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I, I worked my software developer job, I uploaded and scheduled my Daily Dive video for 10 16 22, and I have created, uploaded, and will schedule this Daily Dive video for 10 17 22. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all, take care, and thanks again.